everybody, Grenader here. Welcome to another video, and today I'm going to be showing you how to track something. So here's a little clip that I have for you guys. It probably played as the intro, but I'm just going to show it to you one more time. And boom, so there's tracking, and I think that when you track something in a video, it looks much more professional. So this is just some B-roll from an Infinity commercial, and I just put the price next to it, and I think it looks pretty dope. So I'm going to show you guys how to do it. Now we're going to be using Final Cut Pro and I know some of you haven't ever used it before but I'm pretty sure there's some of you that have. I've been using this for the longest time now and I think it's the best editing software in my opinion and I know the ins and outs of the software and so I'm just going to go ahead and show you how to do it. So here it is again one more time and so as you can see the price is tracked along with the wheel and it just moves and it looks pretty professional so I'm just going to show you guys how to do it. Now you will need a plugin and I'm pretty sure you guys know that plugins just mean that you buy them, download them, install them and it's a tracker plugin. So I'm going to go ahead and just show you one more time. I'm going to delete all of this and just start over from scratch. Um, so I have this whole video here and I'm just gonna go ahead and use the same clip right here which is this part so I'm just gonna drag it right there and you can just change the resolution and stuff I'm just gonna quickly do 1920 by 1080 that's your standard 1080p 30 frames per second and boom there we go so that is the original clip like that um, and so we're just gonna go ahead and get started with the tracking so uh, go to your effects and look for the uh, Pixel Film Studios FCPX the tracker so it says auto tracker go ahead and drag that onto your clip and this should give you the following and it's very easy straightforward from here so just make it a little smaller and put it over the area you want it to track I'm trying to get this on the rim so I'm gonna zoom in and I want the rim to be uh, what the software tracks so just make it you know a little bit smaller and just you know precisely on what you want to be tracked and then if you want to track the scale and the rotation go ahead I usually don't like in this case there's no need to scale it up or down or rotate it so just leave those blank and click a uh, track forward and when you do that it's gonna go ahead and uh, tell you this over here now I was having a couple of problems as you're seeing now so I'm just gonna go ahead and troubleshoot this so the problem is that it can't really track it because of the colors and stuff and the shapes so I'm just gonna make it a little bigger in hopes that that will help and yep there we go so as you can see uh, the program is good but not that good so um, if you're having issues with the tracking go ahead and make your tracking space a little bigger and that should help with the inconsistency there so as you can see all it's doing is making a bunch of keyframes and it's trying to keep the center of the rim as the trackable part so that's the good part so just let it do its magic here and looks like it's done so if you go through it you should see that everything is tracked like that so it looks beautiful and you're probably thinking what this arrow over here is and that's where you insert your text so uh, what you're gonna do is go and grab a text from over here uh, so I'm just gonna do the custom which basically means that there's nothing done to it and just drag it on top of the clip and then change it like that uh, go ahead and change what you want it to say so again I'm just gonna do the price uh, I'm gonna change it to 40,000 this time so let's say you have a client and they want you to change the price maybe they had a price increase and just pick a font um, I'll go ahead and do this one this one looks pretty cool and then you don't really have to do anything to it uh, that's pretty much it uh, what you want to do at this point is click on the um, the clip uh, with the tracking on it and then go where it says drop zone click on that and then go ahead and click on your text and hit apply and when you do that everything's all set up and you can go ahead and hit V on your keyboard and that way this disappears come over here and then what you want to do is you want to increase the overall scale to whatever size you want and then you can change the X axis on it so we could do that and then bring it down just a tad right there and take a look at it and boom that's pretty much it it tracks it it stays in track and it looks pretty professional and that's about it um, if you want to change anything else all the tools are right here so you can increase the scale um, down here 
you can increase the overall scale you can increase and decrease the opacity so if you want to decrease the opacity just a tad and just play that i mean that looks pretty cool too and just tracking in general you know a lot of people just think it's super hard but it's really not so if you guys have any questions or comments leave them down below and if you like the video go ahead and drop a like as well hit that subscribe button for more content thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video